Hey, Mom, what's up? Sorry, I'm just in the middle of some stuff right now. But what's going on? My father and I just wanted to check in, but we can call you back later. No, no, it's fine. What's going on? Um, not much here. Well, we just wanted to see if things were picking back up out there. Not really. Still totally dead. It seems like nobody's getting auditions right now. But hopefully soon. I, I think with how everything's going, I, um, jeez, I might have to start looking for a regular job. I hear you, Mom. You know, we were just thinking maybe you should come back here this summer and get a job. And you could meet a nice Midwestern girl here. Maybe even reconnect with your old friend. Mom, there are nice girls everywhere. Dating just hasn't been my top priority. And, Dad, no 24-year-old wants to come back and live in their parents' basement. Now, wait a minute. Uncle Jack still lives in the basement. He's 65 and loves it. He tells us this all the time. Yeah, probably because he's been freeloading for decades. Philip, what was that? Nothing, Mom. Well, you know how lively Bridge City is this time of year? It would be good for you to get out of L.A. for a little while. Uncle Jack would love it, too. He's been telling all his pickleball friends how great of a player his nephew is. Ella, are you still there? Mom? Uncle Jack has never even seen me play pickleball. Well, you know Jack... He loves to brag about you. He keeps telling everyone he wants this, he wants that. <sighs> yeah. Um, I don't know. I'll think about it, all right? We, we can talk about all this later, okay? Well, one more thing, Kelly. I sent you a couple of pictures of Dad and me. I just thought you might want a new one of us. Okay, yeah, that'd be great. Let me check them out right now, and then I can, uh, we can talk about it later, all right? Okay. All right, honey. All right, well, hey, I love you guys. Love you, Mom. Love you, Dad. All right, you too. All right yep. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. All right, bye. What? A couple photos. Summer in Bridge City? <laughs> Living in my parents' basement? <laughs> this is a joke.
That was Quixotic Sound's last one standing. I'm J.D. Bennett on the aisle 96.9, Northern Michigan's best variety, serving Harbor Creek, Bridge City, and Little Bay Cove. Here's the deal on my Uncle Jack. He's my mom's twin. They're Jack and Jill. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. There are three things that Uncle Jack does that drive me absolutely crazy. One, he and my mom insist on wearing matching outfits. Two, he's always late. I mean, running late could be five minutes, could be an hour. He just texted me he's running a little bit late. And three, which drives me absolutely crazy because it's so not me, he's a huge bragger. And most of it's totally exaggerated. And my mom, you know, she just rolls with it all. But you know what they say. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. <laughs> It's a joke. Phil! <laughs> How's it going, Uncle Jack? I'm doing great. Oh, good to see you. It's always good to see you. I'm sorry I'm so late. I couldn't get away from the courts. I was on fire. Hey, no worries, Uncle Jack. It's totally fine. Hey, let's put your stuff in the back seat. All and right. what do you think of my convertible? Well, I know you're really strategic with your spending, so I was kind of surprised that you'd spend it on a convertible. But I think it looks great. And, you know, I, I love the red. The red's my favorite color, so it's great. Here, I'll leave this stuff up. Is right here in the back okay? Perfect. Okay, awesome. All right, here, I'll put this in here. Whoa, nice paddle, Uncle Jack. They say the X90's top of the line. It's the best. Oh, I can't wait to see you play with it. Whoa. All right, let's load up, let's get out of here. Really appreciate you getting me, Uncle Jack. This is great, thank you. Good having you. Know, here. Yeah. I was trying to remember the last time I saw you in person, Uncle Jack. I remember it was two years ago in June. There's no way it could have been that long. It was at Jasper's house where they honored me with a community service award. I was given a huge standing ovation. You remember my friend Jasper. <laughs> Uncle Jack is at it again. He can't help himself. I never heard about an award for community service. I never heard about a standing ovation. And who the heck is Jasper? So Phil, be honest, your parents won't come out and say it, but it seems like it's over for you in L.A., right? I mean, this is the end of the road. Oh, my! Oh, well, man. it still looks drivable to me. Yeah, oh, poor little guy. He just ran off without his tail. Jackie, this isn't your fault. Bill will take it up and get it repaired later on. Right now, the most important thing is that you and Philly are safe. Phil distracted me, Jelly Bean. What do you mean he distracted you? I oh, asked dear. him a simple question and he couldn't give me an honest answer. That's not what happened. Well, I'm sure your insurance will cover all the damages. But I still have a $500 deductible to pay. We'll take care of that. Right now, let's go in for some dinner, okay? Come on. And some cookies and milk? Cookies and milk. I have not. Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my. Yeah, Dad, it's okay, you know? Just, uh, good to be home. Good to be home. His eyes were not on the road. How is that my fault? Why doesn't he just tell the truth, tell it like it is? I don't know why Phil won't speak the truth. Doesn't he know the truth will always set you free? What the hell? My brother-in-law wrecked his car and thinks I'm going to pay for it? No one even knows he inherited it from Mrs. Mapplethorpe. He mowed her lawn in the 60s and gave her two pickleball lessons right before she died. Poor dad, you know, he's actually gotten kind of used to being the third wheel. Jack and Jill, and then there's Bill. Oh, Philly, we are so glad you were home. Thanks, Mama. It really is. Yeah, it's great to have you back. By the way, Philip, Chloe's Coffee Shop is really doing well. Your cousin is certainly making a name for itself. Well, that's great, you know. I there you go. You see, Phil, Chloe didn't have to abandon her family and move 2,000 miles away to chase her dream. She's found it right here in good old Bridge City, Michigan. Bill, you must be so proud of your niece. Yes, I am. This is so jacked that my compliment towards Chloe turns into a dagger at Pwops. I kid you not, he does this every time. I've been on the ground for about three hours and Uncle Jack has not missed an opportunity to cut me down. I don't understand. Mom says he brags about me all the time when I'm not here, but when I am here, it's all insults. I mean, 
I don't get it. This guy is 65 years old, still lives in his sister's basement, and he's passing judgment on my decisions at age 24? It's a joke. Well, anyway, Philly, I'm assuming you're going to the pickleball courts in the morning with your Uncle Jack? That's the plan. That's I'm not sure that's going to work. You see, Phil, Chloe is a real go-getter. She has no problem waking up early and getting to the courts with coffee in hand. I figured it might be too early for someone like you. But don't worry, Phil. There's always the late session. It's been a long day. I think I'm going to just unwind, unpack in my room, and hit the hay. I, I forgot how long it stays light here in the summertime in northern Michigan. Okay, honey. Yeah. Um, night, everyone. Uncle Jack, thanks for picking me up. I'm sorry about your convertible and that it got dinged up. But I'll see you in the morning for pickleball, right? And I'll see you in the convertible. Okay. Night, Good. everybody. Good night. Thanks for taking me to the Elton John concert last night. He's still got it. That was fun, but it still doesn't beat the Purple Rain concert we went to in the 80s. Right. Yeah. All right, back to business. At ease, Pisces. Great job on the project for the Senior Center. Kate, your recommendations for the refrigeration system was a game changer. Thanks so much, Rach. That means the world to me. What about me? I bought you a coffee. You do know that's a thank you. All right, let's keep the energy going tomorrow. I'll see y'all in the morning. Pisces? Yes? What can I do? Anything? It's going to be a long day. I'll take my coffee black. None of that flavored crap you've been bringing me. I signed up to be an intern at City Hall, but I had no clue that being an expert barista was a job requirement. Rach, don't forget, I have a breakfast meeting in the morning. The only thing I ask is that you make sure it's a five-year warranty with an extension plan. Got it. The warranty situation has been handled, which frees me up for pickleball in the morning. Rachel has no clue that my breakfast meetings really mean pickleball. Shit's been weird since Prince died. I'm the mayor of Bridge City. My oldest friend, Kate Matthews, is my project manager. Her breakfast meetings are code for pickleball. I'm not gonna call her out. She's my ride or die. Pisces, however, is my intern. You don't always expect an intern to set the world on fire, but I take my coffee black and he can't even get that right. Clearly, Pisces is from another galaxy. Is that an X-22 you've got there? No, just your standard pickleball paddle. It seems like the car drove fine. Hello, everyone! Phil's on West Coast time. He's not awake yet. I've got first game. Oh. Uh, Philip Wobson? What brings you back to Bridge City? Oh, I should have known you'd be running the courts, Coach B. It's good to see you, Coach. You know, I had a blast when you were my coach in senior year. Well, still enjoy coaching seniors, but now I'm coaching senior citizens. Take a look. <laughs> Hey, good seeing you again, P. Wong. Hey, you too, Coach. See you soon. P. Wong. Hey, Chloe. <laughs> Chloe, oh my gosh, so good to see you. It's good you to know. see you too. Hey, I'm so excited about your coffee shop. Hey, come, I'll, I'll come by later and we can catch up yeah, more, okay? Yeah, that would be wonderful. And if you need a summer job, you know where to Oh, well, it. you can bet I will. <laughs> I need anything I can get. <laughs> Got a hold of that one. I don't know, Jack. It seems pretty calm on this side of the net. Hi, guys. Hi, Phil. This must be your lucky day. Yeah, I know. Hey, Pwoms, you were a great athlete back in high school. You still got it? <laughs> Come we'll on. We'll go. see, you, Coach. Go get him. Thank you. All right. Oh my oh, gosh, I'm oh, so, oh, sorry. oh my lord. 
Miss oh. Smith! Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Are, are you still at the library? It's Mrs. Jones now. And yes, I'm still at the library. Oh my goodness. Did, did you say you're married? Wow, congratulations! <laughs> Thank you! All right, well, are you ready to have some fun? Okay, Philip, here we go. All right, let's do it. Come on, p -wops. Philip hasn't been around for a while. I do recall when he was a boy, he was always smiling and very quiet in the library and liked reading Diary of the Wimpy Kid books. p -wops is my cousin, and it has been so good to see him. With all the time that he spent in L.A., we're not as close as we were when we were little, so it will be so fun to get back and whip him in pickleball. Do you know anything about this guy? Yeah, he's young. Well, if he's young, that's all we need to know. That's right. Oh. Two four, I'm a two. Oh. 10 8. I'm a 2. Got it. Oh, good match. Good game, everybody. Good game, everybody. Yep, good one. By the way, your Uncle Jack informed me you just shot a movie with Kevin Klein and Morgan Freeman called Las Vegas. Congratulations. Oh, thanks. Yeah, you know, we actually shot it 10 years ago, and it was called Las Vegas. Um, but it was a blast to be a part of. I just had a small role. I mean, you know my Uncle Jack. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad Philip is back in town, but new players take court time, and young players are usually pretty good. I wish he played tennis instead. Chet. Chet. Yes. I'm a little concerned with the amount of swearing that's been going on here lately. Why? What did you hear now? Well, did you hear Kate dropped a D-bomb? D-bomb? You know, rhymes with ham. Damn! Well, why didn't you just say so in the first place? I think this will help with our problem. Swear jar. I love the idea. That's going to help clean things up around here. <laughs> Kate! <laughs> Put it in. Thank you. No more swearing. No. You're still so darn quick. I can tell you've been playing some serious pickleball out there in L.A. Thanks, Coach. Yeah. Hey, Philip. When I started playing pickleball here in Bridge City, I pictured a place where people could come, young and old, beginner to advance, a place where they could just have fun playing pickleball. And as I grow older, it warms my heart to see them grow more and more. So Philip, I want this place to be our city, our own city within a city. Coach, I can see it too. I mean, it's what you've created here. It's a pickleball city. It's pick city. Pick city. Pick city. I love it. Philip Wompson? Welcome home to Pick City. My Julie's making pancakes, fried eggs and toast. She's pouring my OJ, the perfect host. Sing a Billy. Hey, where's my uh, orange juice? Oh, my dad still thinks he's Elvis. As you can tell, the king is alive and well and eating pancakes in Bridge City, Michigan. Jack's a go-getter, he's late again. Billy! What? Oh, that's right, you said you tapped me when I was being mean to Jackie Bean. Bill! <laughs> Jackie Bean, oh, I love my dad. Sorry, Jelly Bean, no time for Eggs Benedict today. Gotta get to the courts! Oh, well, at least take your carrots. <laughs> go <-getter. laughs> All righty. Love you, Mom. I'll see you later for the I course. Love you, Phil. All right. I've never been this late before. Well, there's a first time for everything, Uncle Jack. Ooh. Right on time again, Jack. Hey guys, we got five stacks of paddles over here. New games to nine, not win by two. 
Oh, what? No, we got five This is ridiculous. Here. Phil, I can't believe I had to wait on you. <laughs> Uncle Jack waiting for me? <laughs> this is a joke. Jack, put your paddle down right here. This is ridiculous. Time is money. I'm out of here. Whoa. Oh, oh. No, I'm sorry. Jeez. Oh, oh man. Oh, hey. Hey. You're Phil, right? Yeah, how you're you the, doing? You're, you're the new guy. Good. I'm Ken. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, Ken. Have you been playing long? You know, I've been playing for about six years. I love it. Really? Oh, yeah. Really? That sounds terrific. Yep. You know, I don't mind a, a little bit of a wait, but this is getting kind of ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, is it always like this? Always. Happens all the time. I'm Lisa. Hey, I'm... Philip, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Whoa, you okay, Ken? Oh, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Oh, don't worry about Ken. He's just suffering from a chronic state of uh, hypersensitivity induced by <laughs> exposure to a particular wow. antigen. I, I had that too. Tough thing to beat. Okay. You sure you're okay? okay. Also known as all right. allergies. All right. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. <laughs> so I hear you're from LA. How do you like it out there? I love it, but you know, I mean, things have actually started to slow down for me over the past couple years. Yeah. My son Stuart was offered a job out there, but he turned it down. He decided he would never live out there. He's about your age. Okay. Yeah, he's a marketing executive in Chicago now. He really likes it there and he's doing so well. Wow, you know, that's impressive. That's good for him, good. Lisa is the biggest know-it-all I've ever met. That is typical Lisa. She is the biggest bragger I have ever met. This kid's just here to play pickleball. Five, six, one. Oh! Oh! Are you all right, Frank? What happened? Uh, my arm. Let me help you over to the bench. Uh, don't worry about me. I'll be back. Typical Frank. In pain, still tossing out movie quotes. I think he's going to be okay. We need another player over here. Okay, Terminator. Show me your arm. Are you okay, Frank? It just really burns. Oh, is it a burn? Is it a deep burn? Anchorman, we speak the same language. You're the L.A. kid. So you know it. Oh! Ooh. What we have here looks like a classic case of lateral epicondylitis. That's pickleball elbow, formerly known as tennis elbow. Just rice it. Okay, Lisa, RICE, which stands for rest, ice, compression, and elevation, can't be the cure for everything. But in this particular case, I concur. Hey, next four up. Lisa, you're in. Court on the far side. Oh, no. Oh, Chuck, are you okay? I don't know. I don't Here, know. Here, let's help get him over okay. to the bench. Oh, I'm going to need my doctor's bag. Hey, Nate, do you think you warmed up enough, Chuck? No, I didn't have time. I... Chuck, you got to stretch. I know, I know. All right, show me where it hurts. It's my foot. Oh, I knew that. This was like a classic case of plantar fasciitis. That's pickleball heel, formerly jogger's heel. Just rice it. I'm coming. Uh. Let me grab my paddle. Oh. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh good no. thing my bag is here. Let me grab some wrap. Well, what in the world do you think I tripped over, Doc? Oh, it looks like a classic case of sprained ankylitis. Well, what should I do? Rise, Rise, Lisa. Lisa. That's it. We're done for the day. I know everybody is fed up with how crowded the courts have been. And now with a rash of injuries, courts are closed. Hey, my decision is final. The courts are closed. Well, good. If I can't play, nobody can. Oh, hey, everyone, Connie from the Senior Center is called. Today is chicken salad day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Esther has made her famous cherry pie. Oh, right? For still just three bucks? Absolutely. Three dollars, that's a bargain. Well, for us maybe, but P. Wants, I'm sorry. You're going to need a fake ID to earn the 60 and over rate. Yeah, we are. Got it. Here's the deal. I've never been to the Senior Center. I've never been a fan of chicken salad. And who the heck is Esther?
Philip, have you met Connie yet? She plays pickleball with us and she runs this place. No, I don't think I have. She is so sweet. Chuck, what happened to you? Oh, my planners is acting up again today. Okay, that again? Do you remember Philip Wompson? Well, sure, you're Bill and Jill's son. Yeah, that's me. It was a mess today at the pickleball courts. You should stop by the table and talk to us. We'll tell you all about it. I will. Saved you a bag of your favorite chips. Thank you, Connie. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Chuck and Connie. Definitely some energy there. I'm going to be keeping my eye on these two. Here, I'll get your chair for you. Hey, thank you. Yep. Pre appreciate it. All set? Yes. Okay. I've been saying for the longest time we need more courts. Yeah. 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 Melissa said she even may stop coming because it's so crowded. Oh. Frank, you're hurt too? Connie, you should have seen the courts today. It was like a geriatric unit out there. <laughs> wow, that sounds horrible. It sure was. We looked like a bunch of geriatric Zoom tweets. <laughs> hey, breakfast club, kind of. The tennis courts are always empty and the pickleball courts are always full. And every time we ask for more pickleball courts, the message is always the same. Frankly, pickleballers, we don't give a damn. Bam! Gone with the wind. I've been playing pickleball for four years and I'm all in on the need for new courts. However, we need to keep in mind that these tennis courts are what we're using for pickleball and they were built because tennis players have loved the sport for many years. Hopefully we can find a solution that benefits everyone. Where in the world are our tax dollars going? And Esther's pie was magnificent. Coach, you know, I was thinking, what if there's a way to bring more attention to the courts? We have a tournament. A tournament? I'm in. Well, I mean, when we did this in L.A., we got a lot of community support. Wow. I like that idea. That's a heck of an idea, Philip. Let's do it. I got a couple of things that I want to get caught up on with you guys before we start play today. But the first is very exciting. We are going to have the first ever inaugural Bridge City Pickleball Tournament. Yes! Hey, Chet, do we even have enough courts? Well, Jack has a lifelong friendship with the mayor, and he's promised us to secure eight courts for the tournament. Awesome. Go, Jack. Yes. All right, Jack. Yes. Make it awesome. Awesome. Hey, and one more thing. I know Tuesday was really hard on a lot of us, but we're not all in the prime of our youth and bulletproof like P. Womps and Chloe. It's unfortunate, yeah. but most of us are at high risk for injury. Yeah. In all seriousness though, I just got done talking to Randy and I decided that we're gonna start having a stretching routine before we start play. Oh. Oh. So. We're doing this for your own good. Injury prevention is key. All right, let's line up and count off for stretch time. I thought he was just kidding. I haven't stretched since I was 17 years old. Chuck, get out of here. Hey, I took his class in school. He takes his stuff seriously. Come I on. do Pilates. This will be easy. Come on, come on, come on. Pilates, it's Pilates. Work, work, work. We put in the heart. Catch their breath, count seconds, watching while we cash their checks. Will I stop before the whole world knows my name? Not by a long shot. Work, work, work. We put in the heart. Man, Coach B is the best. He was a great gym teacher, but sometimes it's like he forgets that this isn't gym class anymore. I don't know, but I think he's an absolute dreamboat. Well, I think you should tell him. Oh, no. Oh, no, Jill, an ambulance just turned into Bridge City Park. It's headed for the pickleball court. Oh, my gosh. I hope it's not Jack. I have told him not to overdo it. <sighs> Billy. Oh, my head really hurts. I didn't oh, think it hurt this much. Honey. I think you're going to be out for several months. Oh. Okay, stop. I just need a second. All right. Jack, 
jail up the hill. Right, left, right. Okay, uh, mommy, you just gonna get me in here. Yeah, let's go this way. Go a little on the side. Come on in. Sorry, it's get okay. In a Whoa, chair. Mom. Oh, sorry. It's okay. I'm, just, I'm oh. still a little bit dizzy. Oh, honey, I'll get you down. Oh, my head's right. pulsing. Here's a chair. Here oh, we go. Okay. What the heck happened? Oh. He's fine. All right, you ready, Amy? I'm ready. Eight, five, two. That's you. Oh, oh, oh nice, nice, nice shot, Jack. Nice shot, Jack. Sugar. Jack attack. Jack and me. Jack attack. Jack attack. All right. What's that? I finally hit a winner down the line past Phil, and he hits himself in the head to get some attention and steal my thunder. Chet called Phil bulletproof. Turns out he's not even paddleproof. Oh. Jackie, I know you had a stressful day. Why don't I get you some milk and cookies? It'll make it feel all better. Honey. Thanks, Jelly Bean. Damn freeloader. He is silly. Oh. Thanks, Mom. Did I get this right? My son gets nine stitches in his head, and Jack plays a pity card? I kid you not. Jill gave Jackie eight cookies and Philip just one. What the hell? Summer in Bridge City. Stitches in my head. So far, this is an absolute joke. Yeah. Good game, nice Ken. Guys. Nice game. Good, good game, Molly. Good, 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 good game, good. Barb. Good well done. Thanks, Philip. Yeah. That was a great game. Yes, it was. Hey, could I have a minute of your time? Yeah, what's going on? <clears throat> Do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> uh, no, it's been a while. <laughs> oh, I've been thinking my granddaughter Ellie would be just perfect for you. Well, does she live around here? No, she lives in Detroit, but she comes up every once in a while, and she's a kindergarten teacher. Oh, hey, that's great. You know, I had all A's in kindergarten. Oh, I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> Did I hear somebody mention something about a girlfriend? Y yeah. I was going to tell you about my niece, Ashley. She's quiet, oh so sweet, and studying to be a nurse. Oh, wow, a nurse. Well, hey, that's great when you just had stitches in your head. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've got a neighbor, Penelope. Mm -hmm. She's sharp as a tack and about your age. And she's got a math PhD. Well, big whoop. Now, Ray, oh. math is a problem. Right. I don't know if Phillips told you this already, but he was scarred by his fifth grade teacher, Miss Berger. She really Hey, that's, oh. that's great, Chloe. Thanks. Very traumatizing. Yeah. Oh, my word. Phil, Phil. Okay. I got to set the record straight on something. He knows I can't stand being called Phil. Philip, P. Woms, I'm fine with. My mom calls me Philly. Phil's just never grown on me. Uh, everything okay? Actually, no. I'm getting nervous. I don't have a clue what to tell Rachel. Everyone's counting on me. The pressure is mounting. Okay, well, calm down. Just start with some small talk and just give the mayor a quick compliment. Well, I can do that. Yeah, okay, just tell her that we know she's busy and that we won't be long. And then just tell her that we really need the courts. I mean, with how well you know Rachel, this should be a piece of cake. Yes, Phil. It would be like taking candy from a baby. Exactly. I've had time to calm down, but I've known Rachel since she was a kid. She's never turned me down on anything. She's actually intimidated by my brilliance. Whatever it takes, I'm not leaving her office without a yes. They can count on me. Hey, Rach, some of the pickleball players are here. Now? Yeah, it'll only take a second. Rachel, so good to see you. You look gorgeous. Well, time is money, so I'll make this quick. 
we've decided to have a pickleball tournament right here in Bridge City. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But to make it work, we need more courts. Yeah, more courts, mm -hmm. please. Now, Charlie from the Parks Department shot us down. A waste of time. But Rachel, can we count on you? No. What? I told them you were impossible. I'm out of here. Mayor, I'm the one that brought pickleball to Bridge City. So you brought this cult to Bridge City. It's your fault. You got four courts. Make them work. Well, four courts. That's not going to work. Unbelievable. Straight from the internet. Definition of a cult, a misplaced or excessive admiration for a particular person or thing. In my opinion, pickleball is a cult. I don't know why Jack thought he could get a favor from me. I always get the best of him. No favors. A cult, huh? My best friend just said I belong to a cult. Ouch. Jack just got absolutely pickled. Jack just got absolutely pickled. Wow. Getting beat 11-0 in pickleball is called getting pickled. It can be very humiliating. Uncle Jack just got absolutely pickled. So, we just got back from the mayor's office. Okay. Jack's our hero. All right. Jack. Tell him what happened. Where's Jack? Still in the car cooling off. It, disaster. Oh, yeah, that's no. good. Good. Rachel's always been so jealous of me. Uh, P-Wumps, tell him what happened. Well, I mean, the meeting was over before he even began, so. Oh, no. Yeah. What did Jack do? What did he do? I mean, it was the craziest approach of all time. He barged into her office, unannounced, the mayor, and then he pawed all over. He was like, Rachel, oh my goodness, you look beautiful. You should be in movies. Time is money, so we'll make this quick. We're having our first Bridge City Tournament, and we need more courts to make it happen. <laughs> Charlie from the Parks Department shot us down. A waste of time. Rachel, can we count on you? Did he, did he really think that was going to work? Say it isn't. Uh, yep. Can't believe it. Yeah. Unfortunately, yes. He thought that was going to work. Uh, what were you thinking? Well, hey, okay, let's just all stay positive. There's got to be another way we can figure this out. We can, we can figure this out, okay? Well, listen, I've got the answer. All right. Oh, good. Yeah. City Ordinance 12-2 states that the mayor must give an audience to any group of six or more citizens sharing a concern. We just need to get a formal appointment with the mayor. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, then that's what we'll do. I, I just can't figure out why the mayor despises pickleball so much. I think someone must have done something to Rachel that really ticked her off. Yeah, yeah. I think I know why. At the league swim meet when we were seniors, I beat Rachel by two tenths of a second in the 100 meter individual medley, and she's held a grudge ever since. I think I know why. Rachel never got over it when I was voted Bulldog cheerleading captain our senior year. She didn't come to school for a week. But maybe that helped motivate her in life. She is mayor now. Go Bulldogs! I know why. She's still mad at me for asking Kate Matthews to the freshman homecoming and not her. I definitely know why. I was the cable TV commissioner in 1981 when we brought cable to Bridge City. Rachel's neighborhood was the last one to get hooked up. All of Rachel's friends had 40 channels. Rachel only had three. No HBO, no MTV, no Prince videos. To this day, she says, I ruined her freshman year. Kate, Kate. I just got a call once blindsided by Mayor Pete Stevens. Mm -hmm. Harbor Creek is offering us courts for the tournament. What in the name of a raspberry beret is going on here? Rach, 
What do you expect? You called us a cult. Excuse me, close the door. Rach, you know I play pickleball. The city only has four courts. We need at least eight for the tournament. Open your eyes. I don't care. Who called Pete Stevens? I did. Mayor's uh, Gemini's my old brother. I'm Pisces. Where's Kate? Oh, Kate, she left. She seemed pretty upset. What do you mean she left? Well, she stormed out about a minute ago. Pisces, do me a favor. Tomorrow morning, grab a large mocha with almond milk for Kate. Sure. Pisces, one yeah. last thing. Get something for yourself. I never thought about having to live without you. I'm trying, Mr. Wright. The truth is that I, I never thought I'd have to. I am so excited about this tournament. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm just hoping we have a good turnout for the meeting with the mayor. Yeah. I sure wish Granddad were out here. He'd be out here every day with us at 7 a.m. <laughs> you know what I mean? And yep. he would be telling us that we were stealing time, oh, as he liked to call it. Oh, yeah, I know. He'd be out here in his ERC t-shirt, reminding us that the Early Risers Club is where it's at. It's because of him that I am an early riser. Well, it's because of him that you're a real go-getter. You know, arriving early to the courts with coffee in hand. I mean, just, you know, that's what Uncle Jack keeps well, telling me. Well, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, I, I really miss Granddad. He was the best. He loved everything about this place, and I know he'd be really glad that I was home this summer. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, Claude, there you go. Thank you. Yeah, of course. I say we try to get like a rally of like 20 or something to start. All right, let's do, do it. it. for the challenge? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. All right, let's roll. You know what? What's up? I got a really freaking big blister. I think I gotta check with Randy tomorrow. I think just I don't want to play anymore because then we have the tournament, so I don't want to push it. Uh, you do know that Randy's not a doctor. It's just like a game we all play here. No, no, come on, Ra Serious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in on it now. Okay. There you go. Hey, by the way, I might have a match for you. Oh boy, here we go again. No, seriously, I just hired the sweetest girl at the coffee shop. Okay, and why do you think she's my perfect match? Well, she's always had a crush on you. Okay. Do you want to know why? Yeah. She remembers you from those commercials oh, where you were the chocolate milk kid. She likes me because of that? Well, yeah. Okay, well, I guess if her drink of choice is still chocolate milk, then maybe I should give her a try. Well, I mean, actually, it's probably coffee now. Yeah, you're probably right. Well, okay, can you at least, like, tell me your name? Mallory. No way, Mallory. I love that name. Hey, you remember the show Family Ties? I thought Mallory was so cute. I, and you know what? I have the perfect pickup line. Oh, boy. You want to hear it? Yeah. Hey, yo, Mallory. Pretty good, right? Uh, you're going to have to try that one out and tell me how it goes. Oh, no. You don't think that'll work? Mm, we'll see. 
Uh. Yeah, Chad, why are you in your sweatsuit? Well, well, Lisa told me just to wear whatever we normally wear to work. And I've been a gym teacher and a coach for 30 years. But a whistle and a clipboard, is that really necessary to meet with the bear? You just had to bring them? Yes. I think he looks really cute in his whistle. Hmm. You would. Wait, no way. Pisces works here? Yeah, I heard he was doing his internship here. I didn't know that. I didn't know it either. Everyone, Mayor Rachel Wright. Pisces, I got it from here. I might need some coffee. So we're here to discuss the courts for the pickleball tournament. I hear there are some grievances. You have the floor. Mayor Wright, thank you for taking time on your calendar to hear us out. As you know, we're having a tournament. And to do it right, <laughs> we, <laughs> yep, we need more court availability. They do say pickleball players burn eight calories per minute. Pisces, coffee, please. I've been involved with pickleball tournaments in California, and I know one thing's for sure: for a tournament of this size to run smoothly, we need eight courts. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah we do. Yeah. yeah, we do. And now I know it may take some time, but we have some people here who have written statements they'd like to share with you. Yes. Pickleball is life. Nice, nice, yeah, Melissa. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Pickleball is fun, social, and friendly. Yeah. 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 Excuse me, just a little nervous. Haven't done public speaking since debate club in high school. I love my pickleball family. I love the outdoors. Mayor. I'm a longtime tennis player as well as a pickleball player, but most of the time the tennis courts are not being used. Mm -hmm. I think it's yeah. long past time to repurpose them. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Right. Agree. Yep. Yep. I've been a quiet citizen here in Bridge City paying taxes for decades. I've never asked for one thing from this city. Please reconsider your decision. Mayor, I prepared a folder for you with all the latest pickleball statistics. Notice it's purple. They say that's your favorite color. Uh -huh. I call your attention to one item in particular on page three. They say pickleball participation across the USA has grown 160% mm -hmm. every year yeah. in the last three years. Mm -hmm. In the best interest of our city, we must move forward in order not to be left in the dust. I agree with everything Lisa just said, but who is they? The experts. Yeah. As you may know, I run the Senior Center and I'm around these people all the time. I consider them my family. We need this. Yes, we do. Mayor, I've become a really good pickleball player, and I aspire to keep getting better. And for that reason, we need more pickleball courts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I agree. It's time we graduate to the 21st century. I'll be there with my coffee cart. Mm -hmm. All right. Right. Yep. You're such a go-getter. <laughs> um, Excuse me, Miss Mayor. Please remember how good this fresh air is for our respiratory system. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mayor Wright, what you've heard from everyone here summarizes our feelings. The pickleball community has nothing more to add. Mm -hmm. I have something to add. Oh. oh, no. Our mayor is the brightest, most dynamic leader that we have ever had. And I think we can all agree that her outfit is head to toe on point. That outfit? From Adler's. I picked the design myself just oh. for the mayor. Oh, oh. very oh, cute. Yeah. Really cute, mayor. So cute. <laughs> yeah. So... Before I give you my final decision, which is not impacted by Jack's off-topic compliments, I want to just commend you for all your passion, your decorum. Yes, you have the court. Okay, we saw, we kicked their ass. Yeah. Damn, who are you going to call? Thank you, Mayor. Yes. Ghostbusters. Yeah. Mayor? Mayor?
know. Let's get real. I sealed the deal. We all sealed the deal. Today was a big win for everyone. Bridge City Tournament, here we come. Oh, Jackie, I am so proud of you. Congratulations, Philip. Thanks, Dad. Appreciate oh, it. Philip, oh, Philip, great Julie job. Bean, Mom. Julie Bean, bring my milk and cookies in the living room and I'll give you a play-by-play. -play. Oh. Mayor Rachel was putty in my hands. Okay, Philip, tell me what really happened in there. Dad, you don't even want to know. It was a joke. That's what I thought. Yeah. No bark, Oscar, no bark. Mm.